Hey guys, how's it going? Johnny One Shot here. If you're active on Reddit or the Kerbal Space Program Facebook groups, you might have seen this clip this week. I managed to do an air to air refueling, and I promised I would show a full length video because I've had a lot of questions about, you know, how do you do it? Were there mods involved? Did you use autopilot? And the answer is no. So let's get into this. So as far as how I launched both these uh, ships at the same time, I did it just like this. I had to take my little F-14 and throw it on top of my refuel plane and take them off together, piggyback style. As you can tell, uh, putting one plane on top of another plane causes some um, issues during takeoff. Uh, that happened every single time I tried to take off and uh, I just kind of rolled with it. Just trying to climb above 2,000 meters here. and. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why it does that. I have camera tools installed, and every time I try to launch a jet, that kind of happens around this same spot. So it is what it is. So before I detach here, I'm going to extend the boom out. Plus I got to kill speed a little bit. The F-14 is not super aerodynamic, therefore it's kind of hard for it to catch up with the cargo jet. But I got that extended. I'm going to pop this F-14 off the top. I do have separatrons. Is that what they're called? The little rockets on the sides that help push it up in the air. Uh, there what I'm doing is I'm pinning the docking port that way I can uh, target it here in a minute. It's a nice clean separation. I did not have nice clean separations every time I tried this beforehand. But now we're just gonna we're gonna try to target this thing and ease in close. Now as I'm easing in here, I had a lot of comments going, well, you know, you said it was hard, but it looks pretty easy. Well, this is what happens when it's not easy. Come in. Oh. One more 
time. Yeah. So that'll happen a lot. Uh, one thing I realize that helps is actually set your dampening a little bit higher on your hinge and the uh, hydraulic there because you want it to flex. And we got hooked up here. So as soon as you hook up, it actually kills the speed on both crafts, throttles down to zero. So I had to speed up and uh, it's pretty smooth now. Now if I try to lift the plane up or down or whatever, you would see that F14 just go everywhere. But here we got them nice and connected now. I can even transfer some fuel in there, you know, like you're supposed to with the refueling plane. We're going to fill this thing up and we're going to get out of here. I will say after this, I fueled up, I disconnected. I did try to land both planes, which required me switching back and forth, making small adjustments to get them back to the airfield. And the cargo plane did not land so nicely, but the F-14 did. Fueled up, and off we go. Easy peasy. For a little bonus, this is what happens when somebody on Reddit or Facebook suggests something else. Uh, like, oh, you should try to, I don't know, take a plane and land it inside the cargo plane mid-flight. As you can see here, I didn't add the Separatrons, or those little rockets that help lift things off. So this was a little bit more difficult to get off here. You know what? Wait, I did add them. They just didn't work right. So this did take uh, several quote-unquote stabs. But I eventually landed it, and we're going to park that right on inside of there. Coming right in the back door. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Reddit, uh, user Johnny One Shot. I'm on Instagram, Johnny Builds KSP. Reddit's where I post most of my stuff, and you can see me on the Facebook groups too. Uh, thanks again for watching, though.